Well, guys, it's been a nice long time coming, but my range experience is now very close to that 200 million experience level up in this bitch. I gotta say, I feel pretty pro not going going and training uh, chinning with like the cannon, because obviously I, I could probably knock that out in, I would say, about less than an hour if I were to go chinning with the cannon at the uh, Dagonos. Or even the Abyss, I guess. <laughs> That's a great comment to get while I'm fucking recording. But yeah, this is going to be my third 200 mil, I believe, right? Defense. We got defense. We got, um, fuck, what's the one? Summoning. There we go. Defense, summoning, range. And I'm hoping still to get Slayer sometime this month. I'm that close right now, so I'm about a week and a bit off, which ain't too bad at all. Oh, perfect effigy time. Let's see this. Fishing. That's a great one to get. Wouldn't mind that being later on, though. Um, Ruka. Woo. I went before agility. Last, last stage agility. Hunter, this one's gonna be agility right here. Oh, Jibber's gonna be mad. Shit. You know what? Fuck all that. There we go. Look at that bonus. I'm still really wondering if it's worth putting lambs on divination or agility because, like, it just they seem to be like somewhat around the same XP rates. Um, but I, I, I think from what I heard, agility should be updated sometime soon. But at the same time, I think divination will get an update. So this task right here will fucking get me to how fucking perfect. Oh, Jax just wants me to get that shit. I think they're 2k experience each, so that's about 260k. I'm literally, j I'll kill like an extra three if I have to, but I think this will actually get me exactly 200 mil range. Oh, if you guys didn't know in the patch notes, they did fix the uh, the arrows, whatever they're called. As you guys know, if you had a demon uh, or necklace and a bone crusher, how you would normally get the experience or the uh, your, the prayer exp like the prayer points uh, for the bone, you weren't able to get it for the first like two or three days of them being released, or the first week, I guess you can say. But um, yeah, that was fixed now, so you don't need to use as many uh, pea pots, which is nice. I was kind of wondering why my pea points were never going up when I like, killed it, because I, sh I should be getting some type of points from killing it from the bones, but I never did. Now, one thing that's going to suck is I still have not figured out exactly what I'm going to do for this task whenever. I think I might do a little bit of uh, a little bit of momentum right now, and then I'll use abilities sometimes. So i got to work on a few things right now for videos. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Go over here. Come on, next tab. There we go, there we go, and we're going to overload and dis, and we're good to go. But yeah, I still haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do with the Slayer task. This task is a very good task if you if you do it, um, but I can't range them, I can't melee them, which leaves me with Mage, and they just think they're so hard to hit with Mage. I'm going to have to see if I can buy a Seismic one, that's the only option I have for the Slayer task. Oh, and thanks guys for telling me about the whole Frost Dragon thing, for getting your completion escape back for the one of the task requirements. Um, apparently if you guys do like a C6 medium, uh, obviously like a frozen floor, that's the only floor that you'll get a frost dragon from. Um, apparently you get a frost dragon within like an hour or something, something like that people are saying. Some people have been saying that, uh, if you see an anti-dragon shield on the table at the start of the map, that means there's a frost dragon in the map. I don't really know if that's true or not. Um, if you guys know about that, please tell me because then that will definitely save me a lot of time from going inside dungeons and looking for a fucking frost dragon. But yeah, I've still yet to do that. It's probably really inefficient of me to not do it uh, while I'm doing Slayer. Uh, but I guess maybe I'll have my comp cape whenever I'm training the rest of my uh, my mage experience, which currently is 115. That'll probably be my next 200 mil, I assume. Uh, I don't think I'll get like... I mean, I was thinking we getting something like Herbal or maybe even Prayer uh, and maybe even uh, Fletching. But um, I, think, I think Mage will be my last one because I just want to finish combat in general. But yeah, once the uh, range is going to be done today, and then Mage is going to be like the last one, and then I'm literally done every single combat, including summoning and, well, not prayer yet, but soon. Anyways, I'll see you guys next clip with 200 mil. I'm just going to pause this for now, and I'll continue once I... Alright guys, I said fuck it, I'm not going to sit there and train those things that I'm not 200 mil yet, but I gotta say, ever since I got here, which is like about a second ago, it seems like range is pretty damn good against these things as well. I know range abilities aren't that great compared to... Uh, the melee ones, I mean, except for like these two right here, like this will probably one hit it, I assume. Yeah, just like that. But I must say, it seems like you can honestly start doing range for Slayer if you really have to. It's, I mean, like I'm I'm killing just as fast as I would be killing them with Mage almost. Um, and Drygors, I believe, might be a tiny bit faster. But it seems like it's the same. Like I'm I'm raping them. I don't know. It was experience till guys. Now it is exactly just about 3.5k after I kill that one right there. Let's see now. Yeah, 3.6. But I assume that every single level 90 weapon is very, very powerful, like the Drygors and these, and then the uh, Seismic Wand, I guess. But, I mean, this seems pretty, pretty damn good for these bows. I didn't think that you'd really hit. Um, obviously, if you're, like, on 07, you won't hit anywhere near as good uh, on these dragons versus uh, using, like, a, a Whip and Piety. But uh, since EOC, I guess everything kind of has a weakness. But if you have level 90 weapons, you can just fuck shit up anyways.
The next dragon right here will be my 200 mil mark. Let's do this. Let's just put our chat on and see if we get spam. Well, I don't think they're going to really see the, the 200 mil. I think it's just for the world. And... Third 200 million. I'm going to log out quickly. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to put this on there. There we go. So there it is, guys. It's going to go attack. Do, 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 all 200 miles. That looks pretty damn sexy. Now I'm like fucking jizzing. I'm not jizzing over here. I'm just I'm just pretty excited. I finally got that to 200 mil. Um, so it seems like now I'm definitely going to be stuck with training nothing but mage uh, for the rest of Slayer. Uh, current experience, yeah, a little bit over um, 11. I mean, a little bit over uh, 10 million. 10 point, uh, yeah, 10 point one ish. Anyways, that wraps up the video for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with uh, more Slay gaining, and I should be passing 190 mil Slayer by tonight. Um, so I'll be looking out for a little more than that by tomorrow. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. All kinds of gains. I don't know how... This is kind of sad. I don't know how many 200 mils I even have, honestly. I kind of forget now. See you guys next time.